Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and on this channel I talk about all things fashion and lifestyle. If you're not new then welcome back girl. So in today's video I have a huge huge haul for you guys like this is a very huge haul and this ain't even all the things that I have to show you guys so I'm gonna break this video up into two parts um, the first this first part you're gonna see some things from um, Ralph Lauren um, I got some things from coach I got some things from Shein from Nordstrom Rack uh, yeah from a brand called commits that I love so just a, this is like a little collective haul of just some things that I've been kind of purchasing since like the beginning of like September so um, I just thought I would share them with you guys in case you know you wanted to um, purchase anything for yourself or you've been looking for anything similar then yeah this is um, you know a good long haul so yeah just grab you a snack girl get you something to drink you know you know put this video somewhere where you can you know do other things you know if you're cleaning up or whatever girl um, but you're probably gonna want to gonna want to watch because I have a, a, few, a few nice quality things that I wanted to share with you guys so yeah, so without any further rambling from me, let's just get into this haul. Alright, so I think I'm going to get into the shoes first because I only got two pair of shoes, which is weird because typically, I mean, if you've been following me, then you guys know I love some shoes. So this past month, I haven't been buying that many shoes. So I, I don't know, maybe it's because I just have enough and I haven't really seen anything that I like. But um, so the first pair of shoes I got, I got these because um, I was inspired by uh, Lyd Lydia Elise Millen. If you guys know her, she's a YouTuber on here and her style i love her style it's very classic and just very chic and feminine um yeah and it's kind of here lately i've no i've seen that she's kind of like getting into like the preppy style the old money style and she wears her these shoes a lot not these particular ones but um because these are some dupes but she wears her manolo i think they're manolo uh blonic flats so like in a cognac color and i love those shoes they're just the cutest flat uh flats and I just love that color anyway. So I probably wouldn't pay, spend that much on those, you know, Manolo, Manolos because, you know, that's a no-no for me uh, when it comes to like flats. Cause I'm not really a flats wearer, but I saw these. So here are the shoes and they're just in like this. Um, on the website, they look more cognac, like a darker, richer kind of a camel color, but here they're kind of like a muted camel, if that makes sense. So they're not as dark as I thought they would be on the website. Um, and I got these from DSW, by the way. I just basically typed in or Googled, you know, um, brand, or camel flats. And so several have popped up and these popped up. And these look like Manolo Blahniks. They look like a dupe of those shoes. So I just thought this was the best dupe that I could find. I think I found a pair on Banana Republic, but those were sold out. So I saw these and just thought I'd give them a shot. And these are from the brand Vionic. Never heard of that brand, but love these shoes I've already worn these um, and they're very comfortable I got mine in a size 10 I believe let's see no I think I'm pretty sure I got these in a, yeah got these in a nine and a half because I am a nine and a half um, and I do feel like I probably could have gotten a nine I don't know if my foot is just getting smaller but here lately I've been able to fit nine so I don't know I guess it just depends on the shoe the cut of the shoe the quality the make of the shoe I guess depends on what size I wear I mean I guess I'm anywhere between a nine and a ten so um, but yeah, I got these in a nine and a half. Like I said, I could have gotten them in the nine just to kind of make them fit a little bit better. Um, they don't, uh, you know, come off my foot or whatnot, but I feel like I could have got these in a nine. I think there's still some more available on the website. Um, but like I always do everything that I show you guys, I'll try to link down below. Um, if anything's sold out, I'll try to find similar. So, um, but yeah, so I love these and just some cute flats. You know, these are trendy right now like the ballet flats and the flats in general like these kind of um what do you call them like yeah just like little ballet flats are super trendy right now um, but i feel like they're a classic i feel like anybody you know could pull these off so anyway so i got these shoes from dsw like i said and i love them and what i love about them is like the insole it has like a it's like raised insole here or in the this part of the shoe is kind of raised so i think it's made that way to help with arch support I think um, I'm not sure but like I said I will link these shoes down below so that you can kind of check it out and see what I mean um, but it has like a raised it's kind of raised here you can't really see it with the shoe but this part is raised which makes it comfortable to walk in for an extended period of time because with flats you know there is no arch support right they're just flat but the way that this is built and, and the technology in this 
makes this comfortable where you can walk in this shoe um, especially if you're not flat footed um, I, I don't know if I'm flat footed or not but um, I can't really tell but anyway they're comfortable they're comfortable flats because they have that little arch support here so that's just kind of like a tidbit for you guys if you've been looking for some flats and you don't like to wear flats because they're just too flat so these have that technology built in them where it kind of gives you that arch support so and I just rambled on and on about those shoes uh, um, we got a lot of stuff to get to so I'm gonna try not to ramble with anything else um, these next pair of shoes I got I haven't even worn these yet I was going back and forth one night with my husband after him. What did he thought? What did he think about these shoes? Um, and if you guys don't follow me, you know I'm, I love sneakers. I'm a sneakerhead. Um, and anytime I see any new ones that I want, I, I just get. So these are no exception. Like I said, I haven't even worn these yet. They still have the tag on them. I think I forgot about them because I had them tucked away um, in my um, in my dressing room. But they're these. They're um, the Air Jordan ones, the uh, low top version and it's in like this kind of blue i don't know like a baby blue and kind of gray color i don't know if you can see that but it, the yeah this part here is like a gray like a light gray and it's kind of like in a suede kind of material um suede and leather and i love these shoes uh, i've been loving blue lately uh, like navy blue all the blue shades i've been loving so i saw these on the site just thought they were really pretty. Um, I got mine in a size nine and a half. I don't know if these, yeah, these are women's shoes because they're nine and a half, but yeah, I just love these shoes. Just think they'll be nice to wear um, in the fall and winter time. Uh, they're really, they're more like a, like a spring shoe, but yeah, like when I saw them on the side, I just had to get them because I've been trying to get the, I think they're the university blue shoes. Um, I think they're the Jordan ones in the university blue. Um, and those are super expensive, but I saw these I think these are fairly new like just came out So, um, but I love like the suede detail on them I just think that is just some nice a nice touch to a shoe in a sneaker. So Definitely, I'm um, gonna be have to be careful because this part is suede. I didn't even think about that when I purchased these um, I got these like the beginning of September and so obviously it was still you know summertime so now we're in the fall and you know the weather is cold and I don't know the rain I don't know girl but I'm gonna still rock them because they are so nice so I need to actually make it a um, make it my priority to wear these shoes because they've just been sitting for not really because I've been trying to save them for the video but just because I just haven't I just forgot about them you know out of sight out of mind but really love these shoes so yeah so those are the last pair of shoes I got and then um let's see i'm trying to think what i want to do next i think i'll do the stuff from commence um that's a new site or not really a new site i don't know how long they've been out but it's new to me it's a site that i've recently started to shop on and um i love their their pieces that i've gotten so far i think i've done another haul with some uh, other pieces that i got from there but i really love their trousers their trousers fit me perfectly they're the right length and i think the site is based out of asia somewhere maybe china i don't know but their their pieces are dupes of like higher end pieces so if you're looking for dupes and you'll see when i show you guys in this video what i mean by dupes um but yeah they're like dupes for higher end pieces so yes yeah, so i'm gonna just get into these pieces real quick um so the first piece i got is this one and it's like a i love the detail of this it's kind of like crisscrosses here in the uh like here crisscrosses i'll show you guys obviously a try on portion like a split screen or something so you guys can see how these look on but um yeah so i love this i thought this would be a cute layering piece and i tried these this on already i got this in a size what size did i get this in i don't even know if the size is on here i think i got it in a large um yeah i'm pretty sure i got this in a large it doesn't say the size but uh, one thing about this is kind of see-through and one side of it is thicker than the other which I think is this side maybe thicker uh, I can't really tell right now but one side is thicker than the other so it just kind of accommodates it because it's so see-through so um, I definitely you know purchased this as like a layering piece like I can wear it you know underneath this blazer or any of my cardigans so and I just like the neck detail how it crisscrosses here in the neckline I'm sure this is a dupe for something expensive but it's just kind of like in this rib material so I really love this and um, I think they also I think it also comes in like a black too but I like the white because you know I just wanted a, a white top that I can layer underneath 
you know, like I said, blazers and, you know, uh, cardigans. So, but yeah, so that's the first item. And then the second item I got is this. And um, this definitely reminds me of like a polo, Ralph Lauren. And um, I just thought this was really, just really a cute top that I can wear, um, you know, with trousers or jeans or, you know, skirts. Um, however, and so it's just like a little button up kind of like one of those polo type shirts and only thing about this is it has a, the string here. They didn't cut this part of the string off. So I'm just have to cut that off because there's like a little string just dangling. So, uh, yeah, not too happy about that. But anyway, it's a nice, pretty nice, you know, little, um, like, what do you call it? Like, I don't know, like polo type shirt. I don't know what you call it, but I like it because it's in this navy blue color. If you've been following me, you know, I love navy blue. So I saw this and just had to scoop it up. I don't, again, the size is not on here. I'm sorry, guys. I'll try to on the screen, put what size I got it in just for reference um, in case you guys want to check these pieces out. But it's, this is definitely like a good fall piece because it's not too thick. It's not too thin and you know, just a perfect piece. Uh, to wear now you can just like put on like a denim jacket or something you know lightweight on top of it as well so because it is short sleeve but i just thought this was a cute little like polo shirt dupe you know um but yeah so that's the next piece and the next piece i got um this that's the size is this has actually has a size on it i got this in a large and it's another just like one of those layering tops and i got this because of the color because this is just like so fall right this like mustard yellow color and i like the cutout detail i have some other tops like this that i got from shein um but i saw this um in a t-shirt the ones i got from shein are bodysuits so this was in a t-shirt um because sometimes you just don't want to wear a bodysuit so yeah so this is just kind of like a cutout detail here on the on the uh like shoulder part here and just a nice like you know nice little layering piece again that i can put on underneath this um blazer that i have on just for a little pop of color and yeah i just love this this piece it's kind of stretchy too and it's like in this ribbed kind of material or fabric and yeah very stretchy so i feel like i could have you know sized down even with this because i tend to gonna be wearing this as a layering piece and not really on its own for the uh you know fall and winter time but I feel like this is a piece also that you can wear for the spring and summer but yeah just love that piece i love like little layering tops that have like you know they're basic but they have like a little detail to them so all right and so the next piece y'all know i love a good button-up shirt and so um, i saw this on the website and just loved it because i love gray as well and so this is kind of like in this gray and kind of cream kind of color and it's like in this satiny material and it has like some like gold button details don't know if you can see that um but yeah it has like gold button details and this is super long on me like this i can wear this as a shirt dress and on the website i don't think i it didn't look like it was that long on the website so um i've actually already wore this with um another piece that i'm going to show you guys but this thing is super long and it kind of reminds me of like a little shirt that you would wear to bed so I don't know I guess if I get tired of wearing it out or if I see it doesn't work as far as like wearing it out but like I said I've already worn it out and one thing I realized is when I tucked it in because I kept I wore it with some trousers and tucked it in and it, it was a huge bulge like I had to pull it out some to kind of you know get rid of the bulge but it was still there and I you know luckily I had on a blazer so you can make you know barely see it but yeah I just I don't know this is super long like I definitely could wear this as a little shirt dress um, maybe in layer with like some faux leather leggings or something um, so I'm gonna make try to make this work um, I got it in extra large that may be why it's so big because I got it in like two sizes up I'm typically a medium so um, but I just like the fabric of it it's like in this silky like I said satiny material and I love the stripes um, you'll see in this in this haul that I am um, I love stripes I kind of been getting into stripes here lately so um, but yeah, so I just love this top. It's just really nice uh, button up shirt. Like I said, I love like the gold button details on it. So um, but that, that piece, and then the next piece I got, I've worn this too. I think I layered on a blazer with this, but it's just a, again, another stripe button up shirt, definitely like men's style. And this is the perfect size or perfect length on me, I should say. Um, this one I got in the extra large um, and I just love this. It's kind of, very like soft fabric i don't know i think maybe this might be made out of cotton because it's very soft you know it's not itchy or anything like that 
and just yeah it's just a button-up shirt like a men's style button-up shirt um, like I said I wore it with um, some trousers that I'm gonna show you guys in just a second and like a blazer on top and I just buttoned it all the way up and it was just it was a cute look so um, but yeah so you can't go wrong with like these little layering shirts or these button-up shirts I at this point I'm collecting all of them and most of them are in navy blue because the, the stripes are navy blue like navy blue and white I don't know if you can tell um, but yeah the stripes are like a dark navy blue so um, so yes yeah, so I love that top and then the next two items I got are trousers so like I said I love that website specifically for the trousers because um, they just have really nice trousers like I said that fit me perfectly as far as the length and the size and everything so the next pair I got are these and as you can see they're like in this navy blue kind of like a light navy blue they're not as dark as like the other navy blue, you know navy blue pieces that i showed you guys but yeah it's definitely in this navy blue and it's pinstripe and i've been loving some pinstripes here lately stripes in general <laughs> i've been loving so um i didn't have any navy blue pinstripe pants or trousers so i saw them on commence and absolutely love them they're wide leg they have a pocket on the back but it's not functional so just to kind of give that look and I like that the waistband in the back is very stretchy so that actually the whole entire waistband no it's just the back the waistband is stretchy so it definitely can expand and it has belt loops in case you need the belt loops you know for a belt if you want to style up a belt with it and also it has like some pleating detail here in the front as well so definitely definitely love these trousers they're they're kind of thin but they're not too bad like um, I feel like you can just, you know, pop on some, you know, um, in the cold, you know, in the colder months, uh, like in the winter time, you can pop on some, you know, stockings or some, or some tights underneath it to, um, some, for some extra layering. So in case you get cold, so, um, but you just can't go wrong with trousers. I love them and I continue to grow, um, a collection of them. So, um, and speaking of trousers, the next ones I have, I think they're the same ones, just in a different color. Yeah, pretty sure they are. Um, so they're these gray ones and y'all know, if you've been following me, I love gray trousers and I probably have more than I really need at this point, but these are different. These are different. I can justify purchasing these because they're pinstripe. So like I said, I've been loving pinstripe and I've been looking for some pinstripe gray trousers. Um, and so I found these on commence. And again, they have that super stretchy, you know, waistband. And then they have like the pleating detail in the front and their wide leg. Again, the same ones as the ones I just showed you, just these are in the gray pinstripe. And uh, yeah, I wore these with, um, what did I wear these with? I wore these with the um, gray top here. And it was just a moment, the gray on gray, you know, was just a moment. So um, like I said, I took this shirt, this long shirt into these uh, trousers. I mean, it wasn't that bulky cause the shirt is like super lightweight, but yeah, <laughs> it was a little annoying for me. Like I, like I said, if I hadn't been wearing a blazer on top, you probably would have seen the bulk in these, in these trousers. But um, nevertheless, I love these trousers and I, I got these in a size, I think extra large. Let me see uh, if I see the tag on here. Yeah, the tag isn't on here, but I'm pretty sure I got them in an extra large because that's typically um, what I get. Yeah, yeah, here they are. Yeah, got these in extra large. So, and so they fit me just fine. I'm, like, I'm typically like a 10 um, in trousers or pants. So those fit me just fine. I think I got the blue ones also in a extra large as well. So yeah, I definitely sized up just because it's coming from, I think the, the, the size is based out of China so or Asia. So, you know, the size is kind of run. You just never know what you're going to get with those sizes. So I always size up. And so I wore these trousers with this shirt as well. So, um, but yeah, so those are the pieces that I got from Commence. Actually, no, I'm not done. <laughs> I was telling you guys about the dupes. And so um, I saw they had this belt. I think this is a dupe for a uh, Bottega belt, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. You guys let me know. But it's just, just got this black belt. And I got this um, to like cinch in the waist with like a a blazer or a coat or something and so um it just kind of like clicks kind of like clicks on here like that uh, if i can do it yeah it kind of clicks like that and so it just has like that gold detail and um you can adjust it here in the back just by kind of like pushing it or kind of like yeah pushing it together like that so love that detail um but it's just like a little belt that i can use to kind of cinch in my waist with like a blazer or something if i want to like give myself some shape 
And so I just thought it was unique and something different. Like I said, I think this is a dupe for like a Bottega belt, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You guys let me know if you've seen like a designer piece like this, but um, definitely loved it. It was just something simple, you know, not too logo y, I guess. And so, um, yeah, so love that belt. And this next one is definitely a dupe. <laughs> um, this is probably more so going towards like, mm, maybe replica. <laughs> um, it's, it's definitely replica ish. Um, but this is the belt here, and um, this is actually a dupe of the Celine belt. Um, yeah, this is pretty much a replica, like. I've seen, I haven't seen the Celine one up close, but you know, from what I can see, it definitely looks like a Celine belt. Like, I don't think anybody would be able to tell the difference, but yeah, so this just kind of like goes in like this and has like the little uh, holes here that this part just kind of slides into here. And it's very nice quality belt. These belts are very nice quality. I don't know if they're real leather, it doesn't say on the belt, but they definitely look like good quality. Like, no threads are hanging out or anything, so. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for like a dupe of the Celine belt, then, you know, this is definitely, this is definitely it. So I think I've worn this too. Yeah, I wore this with the blue, um, trousers. So, um, but yeah, so love that little belt. And like I said, it's definitely a dupe or replica-ish of the Celine one. So, but yeah, so can't go wrong with some cute little belts. Um, just some, you know, um, skinny little belts that you can use to layer up. So. Um, but yeah, so love those pieces. All right, now we're going to get into Ralph Lauren. I got a whole bunch of things from Ralph Lauren. So you guys just kind of bear with me with this one. Um, because yeah, I went ham on the Ralph Lauren uh, website as well as the outlet. I went to the Ralph Lauren outlet and, you know, picked up a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll just start with the first piece. This piece, I'll let you know if I got it from the outlet or from the actual website. This piece I got from the actual website. So it's just um, like this cable knit. Um, sweater and it's super lightweight I basically got this as like a little layering piece that I can kind of like pop over my shoulder like that um, or I'd wear this you know of course wear it you know like this you know wear it you know wear it actually wear it um, as like a sweater um, and so of course you can also wear like a button-up shirt underneath it just kind of have the collar out and this is really thin, you know, so I'm going to have to put something underneath it once it gets a little bit colder. Or I can, again, layer on a blazer. Maybe not this particular, you know, blazer, but layer a blazer on top of it. But just a nice quality, you know, uh, you know, Ralph Lauren is definitely quality. So um, this I got in a large. It is a little, it's like, it does, it's not snug, but it just fits. So I feel like I could have gotten this in an extra large, but I don't think they had an extra large on the site. Or maybe it was just an oversight, you know, on my part. But... Yeah, I love this. I love this little camel color. Just will go perfectly with actually those flats that I showed you guys with like some jeans or some trousers. And so, yeah, so just been loving these like Ralph Lauren polo shirts here lately. I just love them. Then the next piece I got is a button up shirt. I love a good button up shirt moment. Um, this piece, I haven't worn this yet. Um, this is, what did I get this? I think I got this from the actual uh outlet i got this at the outlet and i got this in a 2xl because i wanted it to be kind of big because it did look small um in the in the store so i got it several sizes up and it's just like this pink stripe here you can see it has a polo logo here on the side here but i just thought this was a cute piece to wear you know um now just layered on top or layered with like maybe a cardigan on top or like one of the other sweaters that I'm going to show you guys but or just on its own like some jeans or some trousers again you know I'm pretty basic when it comes to my wardrobe as far as in the winter time but I like to layer so I get pieces like this to layer because um I just love to layer <laughs> I just think it just makes your outfit just that much pop you know popping and so um yeah I love this top and again it's nice and oversized so um, I can definitely, you know, do a lot with this. And the sleeves are rolled up, which is a cute look. I've been into the preppy style, like the old money style. So that's why I got a lot of these pieces. Um, because these pieces I'll just have in my wardrobe forever. Like, they're just like those forever pieces that you'll just have. Um, so the next piece I got is a cardigan. This I got on the actual website. And I got this in a large. And it's just a cardigan in this pretty, like, oh, this is such a pretty color. I haven't worn this either. But it's like in this sage green kind of color which I absolutely love. Like this will be cute again, layered on top. It'd be cute layered on top of this, like a pink and green moment with some denim jeans or some trousers. Um, I think it'll be a cute little moment. Or I can wear it with some dark green. I have like a dark 
green like pleated skirt it's like a hunter green and so that will be cute too like the two different tones of green yeah it'll be popping so yeah i got this as just like a little layering piece again because you can't go wrong with cardigans in like the transitional you know fall weather um so you can wear this during the you know in the in the morning time and then when it starts to get hot you know you can just take this off so um but i just love this piece and i just really love the color and actually it has like it has like some other little tones in here too i can't really kind of make out what it is but yeah it's definitely sage green and has like little specks of like i don't know like Mm, I don't even know what specs other specs in here like specs of brown or something I don't know but obviously the main color is this sage green so love that piece and then the next cardigan I got is this one this I got I think yeah I got this in the actual uh, Ralph Lauren outlet and it's just in this beautiful rich navy blue color and I just love this cardigan this one I've worn it as well and I got this in a large and this kind of fits kind of big so I'm wondering if maybe this was like in the men's like it was in the men's section and then it got migrated over to the women's section um but i just love this cardigan i just love like the white the little pop of white here with the polo symbol or the polo logo i should say um and yeah i've worn this this will be cute layered on top of that pink you know button-up shirt or um layered with like a t-shirt underneath it so yeah so i love navy blue and that you know definitely love this little cardigan this little layering piece so uh, definitely gonna get a lot of wear of that I already have because like I said I've already worn that so um, all right and the next piece I got from the actual website the Ralph Lauren website and this piece I got in a large because um, I think on the side it said it fit oversized so um, it's kind of fitting really big and oversized here but it's just this um, striped uh, navy blue um, sweater um, and it's just kind of it's kind of like a turtleneck but not like really you know not like a really big turtleneck if that makes sense like it's like a mock neck maybe um but i love it it's nice and oversized and long and i've worn this as well and i've just kind of like worn it as like a layering piece on top like i haven't worn it on its own yet because it really hasn't been cold enough to really get away with wearing this you know on its own like you know on top so i've been layering it on top of like like a button-up shirt or something so uh, but yeah, so I got this in a large and definitely love the look of this and the fit of it. And yeah, definitely love this piece. Um, definitely will have this piece for a long time because this is super good quality, like super thick. Um, definitely can, you know, wear this when it starts to get really cold because that is super thick. Um, and the next sweater, all the rest of these are going to be, a few of these are going to be sweaters I'm going to show you, but they're all they're pretty much all the same, just in different colors. So the first one I got is this um, like cream color um, sweater and I've worn this. I got this in a 2XL. So this I got from the um, outlet and I just love the color of this, like this cream color. You know, again, it's good for layering on top. Like I can layer it on top of what I have on. Like that's kind of been my vibe, y'all. I mean, that old money preppy look is definitely a vibe for me. So all these pieces are definitely will you know fit right into my wardrobe um with that preppy style like these pieces i can wear with jeans i can wear with you know full leather leggings or full leather trousers or just trousers in general skirts like all the things <laughs> all the things i can layer these sweaters up with so just so looking forward to styling these up for the fall and winter time y'all like i'm gonna be looking like a preppy girl you know i'm gonna be looking like i'm gonna be going to teach at a university or something with these pieces but i love it just screams like she's you know put together she ain't trying too hard but you know she looks put together like she got her life together even though nine times out of ten you really don't right you just we just out here just doing the best we can but we can look good we can look like we got it together right um so the next piece i got is a cardigan and i really love this one this one i saw at the actual outlet and i was debating whether or not to take the um camel sweater back after i found this one because the stuff that i got from the wear off lauren website i got first before i got these pieces so i was like should i take that camel sweater back because this one is nice and chunky and thicker than the other one is um but um i liked it it's in i got this in an extra large and it's in, again in this camel color and it's just a i think i feel like i can do more with this than i can with the um camel uh, sweater but I'm gonna keep both just because I like both of them and uh, when I don't want to wear you know a cardigan then I can always you know wear that sweater or I can layer that sweater on top of more things and it not be so bulky because this is really thicker 
or this is thicker than the sweater so I feel like I can do more with both really I can kind of do you know a lot with both of them so um, but yeah so this is just a cardigan I got this in a size extra large so it's really nice and big and oversized just like the perfect little layering piece again to go on top of a button up shirt or a t-shirt so this is just a really good quality sweater so just really love it and yeah um, looking forward to wearing that all you know fall and winter long and then the next sweater I got which is the final sweater um, I haven't worn this one yet and this one I got um, yeah I got this one in the outlet as well and I sized up several sizes I got this in a 2x so um, but it's just a nice you know again the layering piece that I can pop on here as you guys see there's a theme here right um, but I love this because it's big so I can put a button-up shirt underneath this too and it's really thick and really substantial and yeah I love the gray color because I've been loving gray if you can follow me then you know I've been loving gray so just love this piece and yeah I'm gonna be getting tons of wear out of this too and yeah so that is the sweaters and then the last two items are again just button-up shirts um, again to layer with so the first one is this navy blue one and love it um, I've worn this one out as well and just love this navy blue color um, yeah and it's, the sleeves are rolled up or I can roll them down and so yeah I just love this piece this I got in an extra large this I got from the outlet so yeah hit up the outlet go to the Ralph Lauren outlet if you guys are interested in like good quality pieces like this um, I recommend going to the outlet because I get like sent like discounts you know throughout the week you know when they're having like a sale or you know like coupons I get so that's just kind of like one way you can afford these pieces because I know Ralph Lauren is expensive so um, if you're on a budget or you know you don't want to spend that much you know go to the store and spend a lot of you know your coin on these pieces because I did spend a lot when I went to or shopped online the, the actual online store I spent a lot and then I realized that I could have you know did you know I did better going to the outlet so um, but I like the pieces I like all the pieces so but yeah so this is just a blue denim like a not really denim but like a navy blue uh, button-up shirt that look great with all the those different sweaters that I showed you guys and then I also got it in the white and this one I got in a 2XL as well so that again I can layer this or um, wear it on its own so you can't go wrong on the white button up like this is a shirt or a button up shirt or button down shirt do you call it button up or button down I can never can quite under you know know which one to say I'm just so used to saying button down button up shirt that I just you know at this point it's a button up shirt for me um, but yeah, so this is nice and big and oversized and again, I can layer sweater on top a cardigan on top Wear it on its own. So you can't go wrong with you know a white, you know button-up shirt I feel like everybody needs one of those so and this is a nice, you know quality one. So um, So yeah, so those are the Ralph Lauren pieces now I'm going to show you guys like some other pieces some things I've already showed you but I just thought I'd just share them, you know share some more stuff or share them again um and so I got some handbags. I've already showed these in like a luxury haul and just thought I'd just mention them again. Um, this coach purse, um, I actually was able to find this on the coach outlet online. So it's just a cognac color. I love this because it would go with those um, cognac shoes that I showed you guys with those like camel shoes, which is why I got these. I got the shoes before I got this bag. So I thought this would look perfect with those shoes. So, um, but yeah, so love this, love coach. They're having a moment and i'm here for it and they're quality nice quality handbags that you know you're not going to spend a whole lot of money on but they're worth the investment because they're just a good quality coach is good quality so um and then the next one i got is this one and it's just like in this white cream color like i said i've showed these before it's not going to go through everything again with these uh handbags but yeah i love this one i've been wearing this one a lot and it's a cute bag just to hand you know protect carry around my essentials with so and then the next two like I said I've showed these when I showed the coach bags and so this one here I have this Gucci bag this I got secondhand so it's a secondhand purchase um, off Vestier Collective and it's just this Gucci bag with like this like dark brown and like dark brown and light brown color I love this um, I told you guys that this that this in the other video that I that I did with this bag or featured this bag in um, I told you guys this is really good quality like really good quality like whoever had this took it pretty good care of it I mean it does have some you know minor little scuffs here and there but nothing too noticeable so 
Um, I love getting secondhand bags because, you know, why pay full price when you can just get them off the secondhand market? So, um, but this came from Vestier Collective. I don't think I mentioned that. And the two coach bags came from the coach outlet. So I got those on the same day that I went to the outlet mall and got the some of those Ralph Lauren pieces. So, and the next bag is a Fendi bag. It's my first Fendi bag. It's not that I show, share with you guys this bag again, but yeah, I've been wearing this one like crazy. Um, again, I got this from Vestier Collective the same time that I got the uh, Gucci one and it's my first Fendi bag I knew I wanted to get one because I love the uh just love the just the look of the Fendi um uh brand in general so because I have like some Fendi sunglasses um and I was like I want to get a bag to kind of match my sunglasses so so yeah this is it I wanted a Fendi baguette but this is kind of similar but not really it's a little bit bigger than a baguette but it still fits all my essentials plus some so been carrying this bag a lot and been loving it so, so glad that I got that. All right, so the next piece you're gonna see, I'm gonna show you guys are outerwear because I've been trying to like get my outerwear game together because, you know, like I said, we're coming up on fall and winter and you need to have your outer game on, your outerwear game on point. So um, the first two uh, pieces I got, they're actually the same, just in different colors because when I like something, I tend to get it in multiple colors. And I've been trying to like find a leather jacket um, or like a moto jacket of some sort um, because the ones that I have are, you know, they're starting to peel because they're not real leather, obviously. So I'm going to have to get rid of those. So I wanted to replenish my, you know, outerwear or my leather jacket um, wardrobe with some more leather jackets. So these, this is the first one and it's just like in this kind of white, I don't know if you can see, kind of white cream off color. And this I got from Nordstrom Rack. So these two, yeah, I got these from Nordstrom Rack and from the brand Guess and really love these um jackets or these uh coats or leather jackets rather and i just love the detail that's really why i got these because like you see like a little detail like a little lace-up detail here on the sleeves and it's also yeah on both sleeves and the back or the back or the sides also kind of have that uh lace-up detail here so um in the back it's just kind of like in this i don't know like pleating i don't know if you call that pleating but I love the detail in this uh, leather jacket because, yeah, it's just different. Don't you, Most leather jackets, you see like that little belt here at the bottom, which I don't like that. I don't like it because it always seems like it falls out. So I love these because they don't have the, the little belt at the bottom. So I just thought these would be perfect to wear, you know, for the fall time right now, you know, as a layering piece. But I just love like the detail in this moto jacket. So, and I love the color because I don't have any um jackets this color so just love this cream color so yeah so i got it in the cream and then of course i had to get it in the classic black right and the the hardware is like a gold it's, it's like a kind of like champagne gold but not really i mean it's obviously gold but it's not like a like that brassy gold so i don't know what to really explain it but yeah again it has i don't know if you probably be able to see it better here but it has like that lace-up detail here on the sleeves and also here on the side as well and you know the back has like that pleating detail so i just love these jackets i think they had it in one more color i think they had it in like a cognac color which i was tempted to get that but i already have a cognac um like muddle jacket that i got from zara so i was like i can't really justify getting that one um but um i love these and this will just be perfect to wear um again like i said for the fall and winter time so definitely looking forward to these and um yeah i love like the little logo here in the, in the obviously no one's gonna see that but it has like the g uh like the little gg kind of looks like Givenchy a little bit but it's guess but good quality um hopefully this will last a while um it just looks like looks like real leather actually um it looks like you know like it'll last me a little like it'll, like it'll last me a few few years hopefully longer than that you know um but it is faux leather so you know it's not like it's real leather so hopefully i can take care of that and make it last um, and then the next piece I've got, I've been looking for some trench coats. Um, I have, I think I have like two or three trench coats, but I wanted a black one. I had one years ago and I got rid of it and I hate that I got rid of it because yeah, now I'm having to find one. So anyway, so I found this one. Um, this is, I got from Pretty Little Thing. I got it in a size 12, US 12. You won't be able to see it here, but obviously it's just like a black trench coat. So it's super thin as most trench coats are but I just like it. It definitely gives me like the Burberry vibes and it's pretty good quality considering that it's from Pretty Little Thing. 
um, but it's big and oversized on me because I did size up because I wanted it to be kind of big so that I can put like you know nice chunky sweaters to kind of get away with wearing it in the winter time um, but I just love it I love like the little tortoise shell buttons on it and just yeah just has pockets and has a belt detail here so I just love this piece and can't wait to start wearing it now and so yeah so need a black trench coat I already have like a camel color so I wanted the black one so um, and the next trench coat I got this one um, it is I thought it was gray I don't know it kind of looks gray on camera but in person it looks like a greenish gray if that makes sense like it doesn't look like a doesn't look green but it doesn't look gray kind of looks like in between I guess it depends on the light but I wanted a gray trench coat because I've been loving gray and so I found this on Shein actually and um, it says a euro 44 so I don't really know what size I got this in but it looks really nice it's really nice quality this is actually thicker than the gray than that black one and it has some lining in it so this is actually really good quality like looking at this I never would think this would be from Shein but yeah, so I don't sheet in and it has like the little um, belt, belt detail on the sleeves as well as on this sleeve too. And yeah, I love this coat. It has like the little like flap here at the back, which I don't think the black one does. Yeah, the black one has a little flap too. So love that because it definitely gives it trench coat vibes. But this one, the one that's from the black one is like a, I don't know, like kind of feels like polyester a little bit. This one is thicker fabric. So I don't know what kind of fabric th this is, but it's definitely like a thicker fabric and more substantial than the black one. So this is really nice. Like I wish I could have found this, a black version of this on Shein. I still might go in there and see if I can find one, but I really love this. Again, I wanted it because I wanted a gray trench coat. So, and um, yeah, so love those. Can't wait to start styling those up. I'm actually looking for like a taupey color trench coat or what other color do I want? Because I already, like I said, have a camel. I have like a light beige one. Now I have a black and a gray one. So, I don't know. I'm looking for like a, it's not really taupe, but like a taupey brown, if that makes sense. So, hopefully I can find one. I may go back on Shein and see if I can see any more. But, um, but that's it, guys. Those are all the things. Um, I was trying not to make this video very long, but as you can see, it is very long. Um, but I got a lot of, I think I got a lot of cute pieces to kind of add to my wardrobe for the fall and winter time. Because that's basically what I've been trying to do. Is just get my wardrobe ready for the fall and winter time with some new end pieces um some holes that i wanted to kind of fill in my wardrobe with um, some of these really nice pieces and a lot of these pieces are really good quality and yeah i'm happy with this wardrobe like definitely happy with this wardrobe so this will mix and match and intermingle with some of the other things that i have already in my existing wardrobe so can't wait to start styling these up uh, be sure to like and subscribe um, because i did show you guys how they looked on but i didn't really really focus on styling them up but if you want to see these pieces styled up just be sure to like and subscribe um, to my channel if you're not if you're not already if you want to see how I style these pieces up because I do a lot of styling on you know videos on this channel so that's definitely something that you know you'll see in this channel you'll see these pieces in this channel so um, but that's it um, everything that I showed you guys like I said if it's still available I will try to link it down below um, if not I'll try to find something similar um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys some new in pieces that I just recently got. Um, and so the next video you guys will see will be another haul. I purchased some things from Zara and also from Mango. So I didn't want to, I don't wanted to break this video up some. So um, that video will be strictly for Zara and Mango and, you know, what other, whatever other pieces that I forgot to mention in this video. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. I know it's been a long video, but you guys have been so awesome for sticking around for if you made it this far and I appreciate you guys for your support. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. All right. Bye guys.